Hey, the folks uh, got something kind of neat for you guys. So I want to share this with you. So if you guys watched my um, New York Custom Knife Show coverage, uh, while we were having lunch at the restaurant in the hotel, I covered some of Eric Savitsky's work, Savitsky Design on Instagram. Uh, you might have, it was a little bit dark, so I want to really give it a little more uh, uh, justice in the, and basically in the video coverage. So Eric made me this sheath here for my JPI Knives Orca model number two, which I did a video on. And I want to show you guys the workmanship of this uh, leather maker. So Eric's from New Jersey and, well, maybe let me start off. No, no, you know, I'm going to go right with this. So, yeah, he 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 makes small sheaths. He makes wallets. Um, yeah, basically he makes wallets and sheaths. Uh, I'm sure he does other things. But if you go to his Instagram account, he does a lot of wallets. And wallets that have the pocket for, like, your... Um, this one's the rut. He also makes it for, like, the side pop or the snail. So if you guys aren't following him, you should check him out because he's got some pretty neat stuff. But I'll get to this in a little bit. So he made the sheath for my Orca. Uh, let me just show you the Orca real quick. So if you guys don't know, I already did a vid on this. I'll put the link above if you want to check it out. This is by JPI Knives, who's also making some badass stuff on Instagram. So I'll put both their links below. But um, yeah, so... Uh, Eric actually asked me, hey, because he already made me some other stuff. He goes, hey, uh, you got a small um, fixed blade that you carry around? I like to make a sheath for it. He's like, yeah, absolutely. So I sent him that, and this is what he made. So Eric basically works with Horween leather. This is Horween. And he also works with bison, American bison. Right, so these are the two types of leather he predominantly works with. This is the Horween. These are soft leather. It's not stiff, uh, very uh, pliable, and the knife sits in there nicely. Although it is still very thick, very thick. Right, he inlaid some alligator skin also, just to make it a little cooler, a little more exotic. And yeah, everything is handmade by Eric. Everything is hand stitch. You see over here, it's got like some brown stitching. I, I actually, when I first got the um, this wall, I thought it was just like by machine. But he informed me, no, everything is hand stitched, hand cut. He does get a little busy, I'm not going to lie. Uh, he is pretty popular on Instagram, especially making the sheath for the side pop, the snail, for the rut. Pretty much anything you can think of. He also makes it for the flashlight. I might as well talk about this. So this is the other leather he uses. This is uh, American Bison. It comes in different colors. This one's black. He has it in like chocolate brown. Different colors. Blue. Um, yeah, it's a variety of colors. As you can see... Uh, the stitching on this, it's just pretty, pretty, pretty awesome. This bison, he uses two types of bison leather too. This one has this heavy grain. He also has one with a, a wider grain. I don't have it, but if you look on Instagram, you'll see what I'm talking about. It's black. It's also bison, but it's got a different, it almost has like a cracked earth look to it. This one's more like a standard uh, leather grain. Uh, this one accommodates the the rut right so that just sits in there and again he can make this for any size you want he can make it for the rut the side pop uh the snail he can make it for a flashlight if you want another card holder on the exterior right and you can see that the leather just takes the shape of um the tool that you put in there inside is two pockets where you can put cash or credit cards this is nice, thick leather, but very soft, very soft, as you can see, it just falls close. Now, he also has, again, the other bison leather, which is a little bit thinner. So if you guys like it a little bit thinner, he can also make that. He's got different kinds of uh, wallets and sheaths you can make. So yeah, so this is the American bison. I really like this one because I like this uh, pattern. Pretty cool stuff. So let's see. I'm going to show you the sheath now because this is really one I want to show you guys. So again, there's the alligator inlay. 
and the Horween leather with the hand stitching. So the Horween has a different sheen to it. It's smoother, uh, just pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff that he works with. So yeah, just want to show you guys that really quick. Um, yeah, he actually, when I first sent him the knife, he, uh, he works pretty fast. He made like a, a quick mock-up of a, a leather sheath just to test it. Uh, like he got it, say, the afternoon. Next morning he made like a quick mock-up of a, just to get an idea of the shape he wanted that fast. This is Eric's logo. Again, he's Savitsky design. Pretty cool. So if you guys are in the market for a nice sheath or waltz, definitely check out Eric's uh, Instagram and you might be able to pick something up. Actually, uh, as of this recording, he has some stuff right now. He has, actually has a sheath right now that looks like this, but square with the inlay up for grabs. And then basically that's what he does. I mean, if you got an order, great. But sometimes he just puts up stuff over there that are readily available. He also makes the um, justice sheath for the you know, the pops or the rut, and they're basically this shape only, right? And if you check it out, you know what I mean, without the wall. So, yeah, just wanted to show you guys that really quick. That's Savitsky Designs on Instagram. All right, folks, peace.